Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be clearing the Danger World map unlocked with Part 3, Chapter 2. So this one's called the Thirst for Power. It gives a dimensional jewel, 100 Trinity Crystals, and 100,000 Gold. For a quick overview of this battle, the enemies basically, whenever they're forced into battle, after battle, they inflict a spark effect on you. And you take fixed damage equals to 10% of your max hit points, and your defense and magic defense are reduced by 30%. This, if these effects ignores immunity, cannot be dispelled, and they last two turns. But it seems like the enemies have a fairly large range limitation. So I think I can just attack them from outside of the range with my characters. And that's my basic plan. So I'm just going to change up the party then. Maybe change to Origins, throw in a young Jessica, throw in a Sophia to cast Mass Heal and Rewind and so on, and we'll be good to go. So yeah, let's just try this out. Tons of long range attackers, and let's begin. Down Ninja Zone. And there's also this effect, grants unknown knowledge and great power, will send you into a state of madness, causing you to lose hit points. So, there's a lot of little interesting effects on the map, I have to say. In any case, let's begin with maybe a... Radiant Glow. I'll act as like a fashion buff. And I'm going to... Divine Bestowment. And then... Range Attack. Not doing much. Hmm. Interesting. Because the match defense values are dang high. That's fine. In the first place, that's why I brought... Lucretia. So, let's stop Lucretia's stuff on that tile and attack. And I'm going to move up. So that tile basically is an act of gantry. Interesting. So just keep striking. And then drop the Thunder God. Let's have it throw down. I'm actually going to throw it closer to my characters where they're attacking from. It's not going to do damage, but I'm okay with that. And let's teleport. Jessica. And have her toss out her Light of Judgment. Take a fixed damage hit. And finally, Kiyura. Four range strike. Starshine teleport. Heal up the others. There we go. Crazy damage output from Thor. He gets some kind of debuff effect. Cannot use active skills, but it looks like I can use my active skills anyway, so whatever. <laughs> So, range attack. Uh, range attack. Take a better cast mass. Cast Rewind here. And keep throwing down damage. 
あ人形あいつのためには聞けるクラッシュストライクフィニッシュスタッフのオフでナウフェイスインアゲンスティスアケメネミそうフォーはよろしいです。Young Jessica is kind of stuck because I wasted that teleport. So maybe I'm going to have to deactivate Divine Bestowment and have her start moving forward. Annoying. So I'm going to start with. AOE heal from Sophia. And just start smashing away. There we go, lots of damage. Takes lots of. I'm going to、uh, Magic Pulse, Sophia. Let's have Kiyura attack. And Tony attack. The most important part was the heal there. Suppose I should grab those, but. Oh, Kiyura actually gets struck. I thought this character doesn't have the range, but apparently it does. The skill has four block range. Okay, that's fine. So now, I'm doing the open damage. Lucretia is on the verge of dying. I'm going to just shift positions and magic pulse and mask. And wait, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So she will just be ready to set up here. Okay. Light of Genesis has 5 range, actually 4 range, so she will attack where she is. Doing some health restoration along the way. And Kiyura can attack a 4 range that she has. And I'll just leave her standing where she is. Enter. Strike. So there are these dumbbell tiles that apparently protect against corruption from chaos and removes madness caused by knowledge of the unknown. Okay. If you want to lose the damage output. Not sure that was actually worth it, you know? I think it's probably better to keep it, but I was taking a lot of fixed damage on Lucretia. So losing it isn't exactly a bad thing. Well, regardless, let's have Kayura attack on one of those tiles. Picking up that madness. And. 
time, I guess Light of Genesis will stay where she is and strike. Okay. Lucretia to start. Yeah, I really think the knowledge of the unknowns are well worth it, even if you take damage. So for whose cooldown I should reduce? Nobody's. Because I still have to cast Radiant Glow with Sophia first. Well, regardless, battle's done. Grabbing these things will make the battle faster. And that's basically it. And I did grab one on Lucretia. But there we have it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nitro out.